I'm Brad Pros with Chilies and Smoke and I'm partnered with Western Wood today to talk to you about how to use wood chips with your grill. You probably want to know why would you use wood chips with your grill. So we're going to spend a few minutes talking about that and I'll give you a few tips as well. You can use wood chips when you're looking to add a little bit of smoke flavor to any type of food that you're cooking directly over the heat. And over the heat doesn't necessarily just mean a charcoal grill, it could mean a gas grill or even pellet grills. The obvious opportunity would be the everyday backyard cook, whether you're flipping burgers or tonging hot dogs. Tonging hot dogs, is that even a word? I mean, you can't flip hot dogs. You get what I'm saying. Anything that's on the grill could potentially benefit from a little bit of smoke flavor. So one of the most common ways to use wood chips is just sprinkling them directly on the charcoal when you're grilling. Think about burgers, they don't take very long to cook. So sprinkling a few wood chips right on top of the charcoal is going to give you that immediate smoke flavor that you're looking for. Just make sure that you spread the wood chips evenly across the charcoal, that way you don't concentrate the wood and get an unnecessary flare up or char on your burgers. Another way to use wood chips is to place them in a foil pack just like this. I'll show you how to make one real quick. To get started, you're going to want to use a large sheet of heavy duty foil and then your choice of wood chips. This is a good opportunity for you to blend flavors if you'd like to. You're going to want to pour out about a cup to two cups of chips depending on how big the sheet of foil is. And then you're going to fold it over but be very, very careful. It's really easy to tear right through the foil pack and ruin it. That's why you want to spread out the wood chips early on. Go ahead and fold over the sides. You can double fold if you need to. This is also a really good opportunity to make lots of foil packs if you plan on using this process over and over. It makes a lot of sense to be able to kind of do all of this at once in a little bit of an assembly line. I like to label the foil packs with the Sharpie just to tell myself what type of wood that I'm gonna use, especially if I've got multiple packs. Last, grab that fork and poke a few holes. This is where the smoke will come out. Don't do too many, otherwise the wood will burn out a little too fast. This pack is gonna create a smoke bomb, which is great for any cook that's gonna take more than 10 minutes. You can also use the same method for gas grills and even pellet smokers if you want a little bit more smoke in the beginning of your cook. Whatever method you choose, do not soak your wood chips. It's actually going to create a lot of steam in your cooking rather than smoke. You're going to be cooking for a lot longer of a time just to try to get that extra smoke effect. By that time, your food might already be cooked. That wouldn't be very good. I hope this is helpful. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Grab a bag of wood chips and pick your grill. Let's get cooking. <music>